الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول على السلام حي على السلام حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح These people of Jannah, the first thing they will say when that for thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one who guided us today to this past to enter Al Jannah and for without his help. Today we have Islam and then every gift Allah has given to us. If it's not guided by Allah, if it's not permitted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those, all those gifts is from Allah. Allah guide who He wants, and then He will guide who He wants. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us strong Iman. And all gift we have today is not our strength, it's not our power. Yes, it's not our knowledge. It's not because mm, I'm, I'm a strength or whatever. But because Allah has guided me and you. Ya Ibad Allah. إهمدوا حمدا كثيرا تجبا مباركا فيه إهمدوه على صحة أجسادكم إهمدوه على نعمة القرآن إهمدوه على نعمة الإحسان إهمدوه على نعمة الإسلام وقول سبحانه وتعالى وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تنسوها إهمدوه على كل شيء قدير على كل شيء إبار الله I'm calling you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya ayu al-lazina amani. Ittaqu Allah haqqa tuqati, wa la tamutunna illa wa antum simon. Ibad al-Rahman. After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began for saying to give us, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduced the months of Ramadan, He introduced with, after the end, because when He introduced Ramadan, the, you end up with taqwa. Because Ramadan, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ramadan is done. Yes, but Ramadan, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Kutiba alaykum as and he end with taqwa. And then he said, It means, this is my ayah, my sign to who? To the people so that they may have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fearing taqwa. Qul Allah ta'ala, فَمَسْتَقَامُ لَكُمْ فَاسْتَخِيمُ لَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ Yuhibbul Muttaqin. Ibadu Rahman. Yes, Ramadan is done. Ramadan is finished. What is the next class? You know how? I don't know if you understand. Ramadan is finished. The day come and gone. The night come and gone. That's the time pass. Your life pass. Your age is gone. Every day you are in the corner. Yes. Ibn Rahman, now Ramadan is gone. Ramadan come to teach us life. Yes. And the, the purify of our heart. Today, Alhamdulillah, so we celebrate the Eid with Halal. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ibn Rahman, Ramadan come during Ramadan, you was patient. Yes. Why? Because you fear Allah or you fasting. When you saw any haram, you try to call, to, 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 to stop yourself. You say, Astaghfirullah. Even you, you even scared him for talking because I don't want to say something what is haram because I'm fasting. This taqwa Allah. So now Ramadan is done. What you should do? That taqwa must remain. That fear of Allah must remain. Still, don't say Ramadan is done today, you know, I got a time, I will do this. No. Ramadan come to teach how you to do good, how to, to help. You was helping in Ramadan. You were standing at the night to pray for Allah, Taraweeh. Yes. I know many brothers here, they, they never miss even one night of Ramadan for Taraweeh. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Even you miss when you go home, after Isha, let me pray some Taraweeh, right? Even you are alone, you do that because it's Ramadan. Now Ramadan is gone. What should I do? Ramadan, Marrasariya. Ramadan passed so quickly. In Qadwa Ramadan, was Tanqadil Amad. Yes. In Qadr Ramadan, was a tanqadil amar. Don't matter how long your life is. Don't matter how long you will live this life. The way Ramadan is gone, your life will go. The way Ramadan come to us and it gone so quickly, fast, my life and your life is going so fast. So you have to be real. Make sure you continue what you learn in Ramadan. That's the most important. Make sure to continue what you was doing in Ramadan. Don't say Ramadan is done. Everything is okay. You know, I, I must go what I was doing. That is something else. Subhanallah. Ibadu Rahman. You know what? This life is short game life. A week ago, everyone was fasting here. Alhamdulillah. So, what I should do now, after Ramadan, you should remain. You should remain what he was doing in Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us strong iman.
الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إبادة رحمن you know what for 30 days or 90, 29 days for 30 days or 29 days you fast it you worship Allah so serve it you persist on this now it's gone I am standing here and congratulating you that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Man soma Ramadona imanan wa ihtisaban gufra Allahu ma taqaddam min dhanbi Allahu Akbar Whosoever fast Ramadan with faith, iman and seeking the reward from Allah all his previsions will be forgiven Congratulations my dear respected brother in Islam this is good news I give you. This is good news from you, from Allah to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to you. Man soma Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban kufr Allah ma taqaddam min zambi. This is for you. And then I didn't finish. Rasulullah say again, man qama man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban. Gufra Allahu ma taqaddama min dhambi Anyone who stand He stood in the daily night of Ramadan And pray with the friend, with the iman And seeking his reward from Allah His previous sin are forgiven Congratulations my dear respected brother in Islam The Prophet said Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again The fasting person has to Joy The fasting person he has two joy, two joy. The joy when he break his fast, Allah Akbar. No, you break your fast. That's one joy. The second joy, and when he meet his law, Allah Akbar. When you meet your law, it is second joy for you. We pray, Allah, <laughs> accept our good deeds and fast. <laughs> So that the heart link, your heart link his master. The heart become a war of it is master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The heart become obedient to its master. Ramadan was the most you learn. Patient in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was the month in which you feel the pain of the poor. The Ramadan was a month that you feel, you feel the pain of the poor and the angry person. Those who are searching, yes. Those who are searching for a cramp of a foot. You who have your fridge full of a foot. Now you fast on Ramadan, you saw, you understand for the first time or whatever that you feel the pain of somebody who, who is a poor, the need that you don't have food to eat. You feel that one today. You understand. Oh, I don't know, you feel the pain, the poor person well, who's left is a bleeding and dry because of a what? He don't have food to eat. And then in day of Ramadan, your, your left was dry. You feel it. You feel it. And you can feel something of that. Subhanallah. Look what happened around the world today. The ulama in Syria, the fatwa to the people of Syria that is okay for you to eat cut and, 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 and mice, cut and mice. Why? Because they are hungry. They don't have food. That's why the ulama in Syria, they made a fatwa. If they can eat 
cats and mice. Because, because you, they don't have enough food to eat. Are you sitting here? Walillahi alhamdu wa minna. An abundance of luxury. So you feel their pain, right? In the most of Ramadan, you give the sadaqa and zakat of a fitri, fit, so that you can help those brothers and sisters around the world. Call Allah Ta'ala. You know, this is a good need for you to understand that Ramadan come to give us those. You can learn all those things. You can learn. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah. وَأَلَمُوا Know that. أَنَّ اللَّهِ مَعَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Understand that. Understand that. Allah is with the one who have taqwa. You cannot have taqwa without this. The first. The first stage. You get, when you get the first stage, the second stage, you can have a taqwa on that immediately. Wa'lamu, know that. Inna Allah, or Anna Allah, ma'al muttaqeen. Allah is with someone who has fear of Allah. Yes. Let us shout to Allah that, Ya Allah, you give us this Ramadan. And I'm going to change my life forever. Yes, <coughs> to be grateful for Allah. Because Allah give you Ramadan. Many people die and they didn't see this Ramadan. But you live to see this Ramadan. You fast to see this Ramadan. You live, you fast, alhamdulillah, masha'Allah, tabarakallah. Ramadan is gone. Be grateful for Allah. Don't say Ramadan is done. I can do whatever I want. You lose. Don't be among the people of Luda. No. Be grateful la in shakatu la asidanakum. If you are you are grateful for Allah, Allah will increase you more barakah. But if you are ungrateful, don't be ungrateful because we have many brothers. They dying. They did they, they are not in this life. They didn't see this Ramadan. You live to see the Ramadan. Ramadan is past now. You can say, okay, everything is gone. Let, let, you know, let me go back to what I'm, I was doing. Let me go back to what I was, I was doing. You want to be fool or what happened to you? That is not right, Ibad Allah. That is not right. And then, if you remain to what you were doing in Ramadan, what is going to happen? Let me tell you. If you remain in your deed during Ramadan, you didn't stop. Even after Ramadan, you continue that same thing you were doing in Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in the day when Malaika will come to you to tell you, Malaika mouth will come, your last day will come. When you remain steadfast, when Malaika come to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna al-ladhina qalu. Inna al-ladhina qalu. Rabbuna Allah. Thumma staqamu. Tatanaddalu alayhimu al-malaika. Alla taqafu wa la tahfamu. Wabshiru biljanna. Lati kuntun tu'adun. In a day, this is what if you follow after Ramadan. Yes. If you follow after Ramadan, you got it. You win. You got it. But if you say, no, you know, Ramadan is gone. Let me go back to what I'm, I was doing. Or let me go back to my business. This is subhanAllah. So you be you are Ramadan worshiper. You Ramadan worshiper. And then you go back to what you was doing. The first thing Allah will snatch on you. Is a kushu in the solar. Allah will snatch kushu in your solar. No more kushu in your solar. You're gonna start. Kemakola Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, if a mu'min, a Muslim, when you wanna lose your deen, the first thing Allah will snatch on you is your kushu. Allah will take the kushu on you. No more kushu. When you say Allahu Akbar, 
your mind is gone somewhere else. Your mind is not on Allah. And then immediately Allah will say to the Malaika, this abd of mine, this servant of mine, close the curtain because he don't deserve my mercy. He don't deserve it. He don't deserve it. Ibad Rahman. When you continue what you was doing in Ramadan, Inna ladina qalu rabbuna Allah. The people who say, Allah is my law. Thumma staqamu. They be steadfast. They follow after Ramadan. When the angel of death, this is what the Malakal mouth will say to them. Malakal mouth will say to them, Allah taqafu wa la tahzanu. Allah taqafu wa la tahzanu. Don't worry. Don't be scared. It's okay. Don't worry about your family back home. Don't worry about your family back. Don't worry about what is going to happen next. Don't worry. Allah taqafu wa la tahzanu. We have good news for you. Ipshiru al bushra for you to enjoy. But if you don't eat dinner, that's your problem. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us to the man. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the people of Tawadi. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our prayer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our prayer. All brother and we are here. May Allah make it easy for you and I. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you what you want, Ya Ibad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a long life with your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our children better than us. And if many brother who are here, if you don't have a job, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a great job, with a barakah. And if any brother who have a job, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue blessing their job. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sin. I will end with this. Qala ta'ala inna Allah ya amuru bil adli wa ihsan wa itai zil qurba wa yanha anil fahsha wa muqta wa bahi ya'izikum la'alla kum tazakir. Ibar Allah. Allahumma yakfi al-muslimina wal-muslimat wal-mu'minina wal-mu'minat wal-ayahum wa minkum awad bi rahmatika ya arhamu rahimim kumu ila salati arhamu Allah.